Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 11 of Designers Learning jQuery. Today, we're going to talk about the jQuery object. The jQuery object is the magic that makes the jQuery library work as well as it does. Before we can start talking about the jQuery object, there are a couple of key concepts that we have to understand. So let's take a look at those first. The first one is the DOM, which stands for the Document Object Model. The DOM is just a representation of an HTML document. So if we have an HTML document like this one, we can see that it is made up of individual HTML elements. But when we're dealing with JavaScript, we also call those DOM objects. So for example, this paragraph, this link, this div, and the image inside that div are all DOM objects. And those are objects that we can work with in our browser. And these objects are the building blocks of the document. But what exactly are we talking about when we talk about an object? An object is one of the most difficult programming concepts for a non-programmer to grasp when you're first learning to write code. And part of the reason is that we just overthink it. And an object is just a thing. It's anything. It's just a noun. So it could be a jet airplane, it could be a coffee maker, it could be a thimble, or it could be a dog. We're going to use a dog for this example. So an object has properties. Properties are like adjectives. They explain what the object is like. So for example, the color of my dog, is he brown or black or black and white? His name, is he Spot, is it Mimi, is it Fifi, is it Fluffy? What is the dog's name? The breed, you know, is it a German Shepherd? Is it a Chihuahua? What kind of dog is it? What color eyes does the dog have? Does he have blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes? And any other number of things that you could think of that describe a dog. Does he have pointy ears or floppy ears? Does he have curly hair or straight? Does he have a curly tail or a straight tail? Does he have long legs or short legs? Is he fat or skinny? Pretty much any way that you can think of to describe a dog would be properties of an object. Now, objects also have methods. And methods are like verbs. Methods are things that the object can do. In the case of a dog, we might have bark, run, sleep, eat. We might have roll over, play dead, fetch, swim, any number of things that a dog can do. And those are the methods of the object. So methods are verbs. They're things that the object can do. And properties are adjectives. They're things that describe the object. DOM objects work much the same way. So we have an object in a DOM. It has properties and it has methods. Now the problem that shows up when you start trying to work with DOM objects with JavaScript is that we don't have just one kind of DOM object. There are lots of different kinds of DOM objects and each different kind can have its own properties and methods. So the code that we write to interact with one kind of DOM object won't necessarily work for the other types of DOM objects. And we might have to rewrite our code when we want to work with a different type of object. And that doesn't even take to account the fact that we also have to write our code so that it works in all different browsers and that the DOM objects might have some slightly different properties and methods in different browsers, which means we might have to write our code many different times over. And this is where the magic of jQuery comes in and makes our lives as coders much easier. When you select elements on the page with the jQuery selector, you might think that you're getting back a collection of DOM objects. And technically, you're not. What you're actually getting back is a jQuery object. And you can think of a jQuery object as a box. Now that box, it could be empty, like the box that we saw in last week's episode when we were testing to see if there were any elements that matched our selector on the page. The box might contain one DOM object, so it's possible that we've just selected one thing on the page. The jQuery object might contain several of the same type of object. So for example, if we were to select all of the links on the page or all of the paragraphs on the page, that's what would be inside of our jQuery object. Or a jQuery object can actually hold 
several different types of DOM objects all in one jQuery object. And the magic of the jQuery object is that it has the same properties and the same methods no matter what kind of DOM objects it happens to hold inside or what kind of browser we happen to be using. So it smooths out those differences between different types of DOM objects and it smooths out the differences between the different browsers. What it also does is by providing lots of handy methods that are reflective of the things that we tend to do over and over again as JavaScript coders, it also helps to make the document objects easier to work with and a lot less awkward. There are lots of built-in methods for changing the text in elements, changing CSS properties of elements, hiding elements, showing elements, and doing simple animations that make using jQuery to write JavaScript so much easier. It's really the jQuery object that gives the jQuery library its power and makes it work as well as it does. I hope that this has helped you to understand a little bit more about how jQuery works and exactly what the jQuery object is. And we'll explore that a little bit more in next week's episode. So I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about jQuery, pick up a copy of my book, jQuery for Designers, available now.